everyone. My name is Melissa Armon. Today I thought I would give a little lecture about what kind of trader are you? Are you a day trader? Are you a long-term investor? Are you a swing trader? I really think it's important to know your time horizon. And by the way, you might be all three. You might have day trading in your pocket, something you do where you're quickly in and out of trades between 9, 30 and 4, or you might be a swing trader. You have swing positions where you're in a couple of days or a couple of weeks, or you might be in a long-term investor where you buy a position or short a position in the market and hold it out for months and years. You could do all three, like I said. A lot of people for the retirement accounts, obviously they're looking out far out ahead, but it does depend what age you're at. Are you in retirement now? Are you close to retirement? And that's something that you really got to think about when you're looking at long-term investments for yourself for retirement. What, what kind of trader are you? You can be all three if you want to, but the way that you manage risk and the amount of money that you risk and how, how aggressive you want to be with risk is very important. You might be very aggressive as a day trader, but you might not be as aggressive as a long-term investor. And that's okay. You should have a separate trading plan or separate money management plan for each time horizon that you're looking at whether it's day trading swing trading or long-term investing don't get screwed up in the head about it because if you're thinking day trader day trader day trader all the time you might get caught up in the panic of the market sometimes when it sells off and if you're in long term as an investor it might screw up your head with the long-term investing. If you're day trading, looking at the stuff and the market falls hard, fine, capitalize on that if you can and if you want to as a day trader, but don't necessarily you know, lose conviction in the market as a whole looking at the long-term trend if you're your retirement accounts. And I think that's what gets people confused. You can be all kinds of trader if you want. And actually, I think that's great because once you learn how to day trade extremely well, you'll be much better off in looking at long-term investments. A lot of people, though, just have the long-term investments, then they want to get into day trading, and then they get confused and they go back to the long-term stuff. Think about what you're doing. What kind of trader are you? If you're all three and you're looking at time horizons for all three, you need to have money management plans or risk management plans for all three so you can space them out. So you get up in the morning, if you're day trading, focus on that. If you're taking swing trades, I'd say look at them in the afternoon, look at them once a week, look at them every two or three days. And if you're a long-term trader, you don't even have to look every day necessarily at your positions long-term. Once a week is good enough for that. Or if there's any kind of volatility in the market, you can take a look at it. I would say separate yourself in your mind so you don't get screwed up in the head about it and make sporadic decisions that you later regret by taking too early of an entry or too early of an exit in something, and it doesn't matter, I'm talking about day trading, swing trading, or long-term investments. You want to make sure you get the timing right in your trades. I'd rather see people do that and make money and, 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 and wait and make money at a great placement rather than buy in too soon or short too soon in a stock in something. The confirmation is extremely, extremely important. And really what helps you with that is knowing yourself, knowing how much risk you can take. Obviously, if you're well off from retirement, 10, 15, 20, 30 years away from retirement, you can take more risk in long-term investments than if you're, if you're in retirement right now. So you really got to look at your situation. Everybody's different. Make decisions based on what type of trader you want to be. I do think that one thing that's very, very interesting is if you learn how to day trade well, if you learn how to read charts well, like I do in a small time frame, and it's really going to help you on a bigger time frame looking at stuff too, and then you'll become better at everything that you do and every investment decision that you make, whether it's in and out quick or whether it's for the long term. If you're interested in learning my Golden Gap course, email me at melissa@thestockswoosh.com. You will learn how to read price action, whether stocks are getting bought or sold off, and that will help you make decisions no matter what kind of day trader, swing trader, or investor you want to be. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day.